Francis Epps is the grandson of the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson. Francis Epps was born in 1801 in Monticello, his grandfather's house. His mother, Maria, she died when he was three years old. Now, Francis's father, John, became a congressman. He was a politician. So he was away from Virginia a lot. Francis stayed at the plantation until his grandfather's death. And after that, Francis actually ended up coming to Florida. And he became a mayor of Tallahassee in the 1840s. And then he became mayor again in the 1850s. In the, in the 1850s, the state was coming up with two seminary schools. So Francis donated the money, donated a building to get the school up there. Finally became Florida State School for Women and then Florida State University. So he's actually considered the founder of the founding father of Florida State. There's a statue of him at Florida State University. Francis sold everything, came to Orlando with not a dime because he sold it all for Confederate money. So he was very big in the Episcopal Church. And so when he came to Orlando, he founded the first Episcopal Church in Orlando. It still stands today. He settled and on a little lake called Lake Oadon and he changed it to Lake Pinot. He built a house there. When he came to Orlando, his three daughters married three Shine boys. Now Maria Epshine, she married Tom Shine. Tom Shine is who we know Shine Avenue after. He was in, in charge of the Shine Guard. During the uh, Second Seminole Wars, uh, Orlando had to be protected from the Indians, you know, from attacks. So what these guards do, these were local people that actually got together to protect the town in times of need. And so back then they were just the Orlando Guards, and then after his death, they renamed it to the Shine Guards. When his, when his daughter Maria and, and Shine were married, they built a house, and the house was at the corner of what we knew as Maine and Jefferson. Maine is now Magnolia. They named it Jefferson after his wife's great-grandfather. But that house was the show place right in the heart of downtown. First sidewalk in Orlando was put in front of his house. First indoor plumbing. First tennis courts in Orlando were at the Shines house. The, the city's uh, historic preservation board had a monument put in and it was a, it's a state historical marker. The marker is located actually at the Epps plot at Greenwood. So the Epps and the Shines have a combined plot, a shared plot at Greenwood. And so the marker's right there to you know, kind of signify the historical significance of what Epps did in Orlando.